A mysterious object found in lunar mission photos. A sea monster and a creepy creature identified as a strange animal. In this episode, you'll see these and other crazy historical photos that no one can explain. Let's go. We'll start with a story that happened to researchers from India. They arrived at the site they needed to study and for a long time analyzed its soil. Nothing interesting could be found in it, so the group of archaeologists moved on to the study of the nearest caves. As it turned out, this was a critically important and at the same time the right decision, because it was in the caves that people were able to find traces of another civilization. By traces, I don't mean someone's actual footprints on the ground but a full-fledged encounter with a member of an unknown race. The monster they encountered could speak all the languages known to humans, so there was no problem negotiating with it. It said that it had been watching humans for a long time and realizing that we were no threat, decided to make contact with us. No matter how wonderful this story may seem, I personally don't believe it. To meet an alien that can talk and not provide any evidence other than this picture is a little strange. What do you think? When it comes to the moon, many people immediately think of Apollo 11. It's a manned spacecraft from the series of the same name, during the flight of which, in the period from July 16th to July 24th, 1969, the inhabitants of Earth landed on the surface of another celestial body, that is, the moon, for the first time in history. The mission is known for many interesting and ambiguous details, but the most curious, in my opinion, is this picture. It was made by the same spaceship, but for some reason, NASA, until recent years, strictly kept silent about it. After all, the picture clearly shows how a stone lay under the pilot's feet, surprisingly similar to a petrified humanoid skull. And not a human, symmetrical eye sockets, nose, and mouth. I think if the researchers had taken it with them, even a small part of it, science might have taken a different path and there would have been a major change in the theory of evolution. April 3rd, 1973. Do you know what's interesting about this date? It's the great day when mankind made the world's very first cell phone call. In fact, it was the starting point of the digital future in which you and I live today. I'm not talking about this by accident. I came across this curious shot from Charlie Chaplin's movie The Circus. The movie was released in 1928. But how could there be a girl with a cell phone in her hands? Here, take a look. You can clearly see her walking and talking to someone, expressing emotions. It looks like a cell phone conversation without a doubt. But how is that possible? After all, at that time, people didn't even know about such a thing as a cell phone. When this topic was raised in the public, people began to put forward a variety of theories. Some suggested that the woman was listening to a portable radio, although that didn't explain why she was talking. Some suggested that the lady was showing signs of schizophrenia, covering her face in an attempt to hide the fact that she was talking out loud to herself. A trivial explanation has also been offered. A random passerby was simply trying to hide her face from the camera. Skeptics think that this fragment of the movie is fake, and it was invented by amateur filmmakers. After a lot of discussions, people came up with the most popular version. It was a time traveler who was accidentally caught on camera. In fact, to be honest, I would believe in this version of the traveler from the future. After all, there are so many unexplained phenomena in the world that no one can figure out, even after many years. Among them is this picture, which seems less mystical and dangerous than it really is. Three people are standing by the bed and simultaneously pointing their fingers at the wall. Are they crazy? People unfamiliar with the story will think to themselves. But trust me, you'd act the same way if you were in their shoes. One night, this little boy began to hear a strange knocking sound coming from behind the wall. At first, he thought it was just some work being done there, and it was none of his business. But when the knocking continued on the second day, on the third day, and sounded for a whole week, he decided to ask his parents about it. They looked at him surprised and didn't realize if he was telling the truth. Wanting to find out for themselves, the adults stayed in his bed for the night, and the sound repeated themselves. Moreover, they became louder and clearer. The parents didn't find out anything. They immediately called experts on paranormal creatures to the site and asked them to analyze the territory. Numerous investigations made it clear that there were no spirits in the room, but at the same time, right in front of the investigators, a knocking sound kept coming from behind the wall. 
After such scary situations at home, one wants to get outdoors, to be somewhere in nature, in the forest and just walk around, distracted from everyday problems and fuss. Everything would be fine, but the forest is also full of scary and strange creatures. One of them is the skunk ape. In 1942, it was first spotted by ordinary tourists. They took a picture and anonymously sent it to the local sheriff. According to the comments attached to the photo, the ape-like creature screamed for three nights in a row, had a terrible odor, and finally ran away. I don't know. I've seen a lot of apes in my life, but this one is probably the strangest and at the same time the most unpleasant one I know. Those red eyes glowing in the night, fanged teeth, and a huge carcass definitely doesn't bode well. What is this picture? Do any of you know it? Let's test your psychic abilities. How will these guys' camping trip end? You may have guessed that these are not random skiers. These are people from the infamous Diet Love group who went camping in the northern Urals. The photo is one of the last ones they took. As is known, this trip turned out to be a mysterious tragedy. The bodies of the group members were in a strange position far away from each other. Each of them had serious injuries. So far, no one has managed to find out what exactly happened to the students. I think that this story will remain a mystery for centuries, unfortunately. Alien Mouth Speaking of pictures that are hard to figure out, if you were shown this shot, who would be the first thing you would think of? A monster from some movie? Alien? Or maybe that mouth isn't even real? You're wrong. None of the previous options are true. We're looking at the jaws of a turtle, but not a simple turtle, but a leatherback sea turtle. These numerous outgrowths serve as a kind of teeth. Not only the throat, but the entire esophagus is also equipped with them. In addition, this thing points inwards. This is done so that the target, caught in the mouth, has no chance to get back out, even with great effort. Fortunately for us, leatherback sea turtles do not touch humans. Their diet is usually limited to crustaceans, algae, and jellyfish. Freddy Jackson When a war comes to an end, it cannot but please. It was, is, and always will be the case. However, sometimes such a process can evoke much more strange emotions and feelings. At first glance, this picture is completely unremarkable. It shows an entire squadron. The soldiers had successfully served during World War I and decided to take a picture to remember. Everyone was there, even those who were not expected to be there. Here in this place is a certain Freddie Jackson, a man who served with the guys. What's so unusual about that? Well, Freddie died during the war, yet the soldier appears in the final picture. Is that possible? In 1975, Diane Bertolo, her husband Peter, and their 12-year-old son visited Warstead Church in the English county of Norfolk. Diana began to pray in silence, and Peter decided to take a picture of his wife. It seemed that there was nothing unusual in this, but so it was only for the human eye. Returning home, the couple was horrified, because it turned out that at that very moment there was some white shadow behind the woman's back. The white stranger was seen to be wearing a small hat and outmoded clothes. Leaving it just like that was too dangerous. Maybe it was a spirit that was haunting them. The next morning, the couple ran back to the church and began asking about the mysterious stranger in white from the church workers. Fortunately for them, there was a person who was ready to tell them about the essence of what was happening. As it turned out, it wasn't bad. According to the priest, the spirit of some girl really flies in that church. But the spirit's not evil at all, but rather kind. It's formed only next to someone who needs healing. Diana recalled that she was really very ill then, but after visiting the church, she felt much better. The Slender Man Do you notice anything strange in this photo? How many people do you count? There's a girl sitting there, a boy on the left, their friend, and a small dog. But that's not all. Over there on the right, someone's watching the little kids playing and waiting for the right moment to attack. According to the local legend, a man with long legs and arms, dressed in an office suit, stalks children and hypnotizes them, causing them to do some horrible things. The body of the photographer, for example, as well as information about who it could be, has not yet been found. The good news is that the children were unharmed, even though they've completely lost the memory of that terrible day. And this is a picture taken near Hook Island. People were sailing their boat and happened to see a mysterious monster underwater. It was obvious that it couldn't be a big fish or some kind of scientist research vehicle. The thing was oddly shaped and gigantic, 
Nevertheless, the Beeble managed to take a picture and get away with it. The events associated with this image date back to 1960. It was then that an unusual black flying object was spotted near the Earth's orbit. The U.S. military mistook it for a spy and wanted to shoot it down, but the final order never came. Later, the Black Knight was spotted several more times. It appeared and disappeared without a trace again in different corners of the Earth. Fans of the unknown believe that this is a thousand-year-old satellite of extraterrestrial origin. More realistic versions point to space debris. But if it really is debris, can it constantly fly over Earth and be in different parts of it? The next picture was taken in 1988 in one of the villages. In the middle of the night, someone insolently knocked out the window of the house where a woman and her daughter lived. The woman dared to open the door, but there was no one outside. Eager to find some discrepancies, she asked her friend to take some pictures of their house from outside, and what they found left them speechless. The woman in the photo was definitely not alive, because in this case, she would have been found. That's all, guys. Which picture did you find the most frightening? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and see you later.